Alright, so one thing I forgot to mention. Fingers for the, the scales. Now, basically you have three patterns that make up all these three note per string shapes. Uh, the first pattern is you have from your index finger you go up a whole step and then a half step. You also have going up a half step then a whole step and then two whole steps. Now I always use my first, third, and fourth finger for the two whole steps. A lot of people will use their first, second, and fourth finger. Um, I used to be a stickler for using the first, third, and fourth. I had my reasons for trying to get students to do that all the time. Um, kind of gotten a lot more lenient with it because it seems like, uh, it's like how each person's hand is. Some people it's, it makes more sense for them to use their first, second, and fourth for the big, big stretch. Some people it's easier to do the first, third, and fourth. So the most important thing is consistency. So one of the most common errors I see when people practice, like they're starting their C major scale. So a lot of times what they'll do is they'll go up first, third, fourth, first, third, fourth, and then continue on like this. And then when they come down from here, then they'll go fourth, second, first, fourth, second, first. So they'll go up one, three, four, one, three, four. But then they'll come back down four, two, one, four, two, one. So if I mean it really depends, like uh, like how how you held the one, three, five down here. Whatever fingers you did there, that probably makes the most sense to stick with using that set of fingers so again it doesn't really matter if you use your first third and fourth or your first second and fourth so long as you always use the same three fingers going up and back down okay um <clears throat> well the the tips or the tricks to remember you know how like one scale ends and one begins was really was uh, how the, the high and low E string go. Remember when you got your C major scale, so when it ends, the shape ends, you got your 10, 12, 13, well you take that and you move it down to the low E, that's how the D Dorian scale shape starts for the three doper strings. And then this one ends on 12, 13, 15, that's how the E Phrygian starts on this, with this group of shapes um, so yeah let's go on to the first new exercise doing the burst stuff so the trickiest parts probably just gonna be going between the third and fourth bar because you're gonna have to jump up a, back a string to complete this so I don't think it's gonna give you too much trouble though so here we go. This is what it sounds like uh, at 60. Double time. Oops. Don't do what I just did. Goodness, this is the problem with me doing these recaps at the end of the day. My brain is... Here we go. Okay, 200. <clears throat> And the goal speed of 240. Now, if you do find going between the third and fourth bar to be extra tricky for you, single that out and just go between those two. So you can just do a speed drill with just that. 
and then bump it up five and all that good stuff so yeah anytime you you have a a problem spot and something you're working on if it's something I give you something else you're working on always a good idea to make smaller exercises out of the full thing and it can be very very helpful all right so I don't think anything really tricky going on here <clears throat> just make sure every time you start on a new note you start with the downstroke you'll also be ending with the downstroke on this one so here it is at 60 Double time. Fun to try and throw the pinch harmonic in at the end. Okay, and 240, your goal picking speed. Alright, and the last new one. So, taking. Taking that one from last week and extending it a little bit. So you're still going to hit an upstroke when you change the string. Upstroke. But then you're going to end it with a down. So down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. The whole time. So... And so we've got a bar or a time signature of three, four. So you just got one and two and three, one and two and three, one and two and three, and so on. So here it is at 60. fret on the G string. It's a good place to hit a harmonic, a pinch harmonic. All right, double time, 120. Probably would be best to not try that. Not quite yet. Anyway, I'll knock it off. Here we go. Um, no more pinches from me. 160. Oops, I said no pension, I did it. It's habit now. Um, 
for the fifth and sixth bar, you got your 10, 12, 14, 10, 12. So this goes back to what I talked about at the beginning of the video, using the same set of fingers. So again, if you're if you feel better using your first, second, and fourth, make sure you do that on this part. Of course, I gotta contort my hand a little bit. It feels weird for me, but again, um, so if you are doing that, what I would do, just go first, second, fourth, first, first second. You could do like first, second, fourth, first, third, but I think that would make it awkward to change the set of fingers for that. So if, if you do use your first, second, fourth, you go like that, one, two, four, one, two, one, two, four, one, two. If you're using your first, third, hey, one, three, four, one, three, one, three, four, one, three. Um, okay, so last thing, uh, keep, those uh, the goodness the condensed shapes the first ones that I gave you the scales the ones you got now just run through those once or twice a day just to keep them fresh while you begin to I guess re relearn your three note per string scale shapes now something uh, that might make it a little easier to play um, is double the Top note that you get to so one two three 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 that's something I used to do is play this a ton these scale shapes with the metronome I actually did it in the key of G that's where I was first given them but anyway same shapes but yeah yeah so what will we be doing stuff like this triplet work with the metronome so, um, it's a little bit easier to play the whole thing, hitting that top note in the shape twice. All right, I think it covers everything. If you got questions, let me know. I will see you next week.